What's up, you smelly so- soy suckers? Terrence Pop here, redonkulous.com, and we are live from the lair. Unfortunately, Blake can't be here today. He's got some uh, family stuff he's got to do, and I, pres- I support that 100%. But please join me in a toast. Um, apparently yesterday, a big fan of the show who is also a close personal friend of uh, Dick Fitzwell, passed away last week uh, of basically uh, complications from uh, strokes and heart attacks. And no, he he never got the, the jab. He's just one of those guys that just, just caught up to him. Uh, he was in his early, I believe, early 50s. And... Uh, Here's to you, Tom. Oh. 
And today, the beer we have is from uh, Wood Boat Brewery. They they are not sponsoring the show. and They're from Clayton, New York. And this was uh, given to me by uh, one of the individuals whose dog tag is in the bag. Uh, he did a, did a Diddy move, which is basically he got PCS, permanent change of station, to Alaska. And he opted to drive U-Haul there with all of his worldly belongings and lo and behold, he stopped along the way, uh, gave me the beer and some other stuff uh, from some of the fans who watch the show on the regular. Though I will have to assess a homo su uh, suspicion point to the soldier who sent me uh, a scented candle. Just so you know. <laughs> and today we have uh, Jimmy Bones and Red Pill assisting us. Uh, come on in, guys. What's going on, guys? Uh, uh, we just we also got a story for uh, five twenty one, but I don't believe we'll read it tonight. We'll wait till Blake is here. All right, uh, he's, he's better at that kind of stuff than I am. And the yeah. reason I'm doing it this way is I'm trying to avoid, you know, people, you know, telling me I'm full of shit, and you know, try, try to basically stab me in the back or whatever they do to discredit somebody who was trying to do good in the world. Yeah, and the number of five twenty one, I think, is uh, a little light because you know I I have a brain injury and it's come to my attention that there are people out there who have been given the same number to like three or four people, and so I would say the number is probably twenty to fifty people more. I, I just fucked up the numbering system, and to keep myself honest moving forward, uh. If you have a story where I saved your life or this helped you out from, you know, going into the 18th hole early, just send us an email explaining what happened. If you want us to keep your name out of it, we can do that because I know it's a very sensitive subject and a lot of men out there don't want to ever admit that they were, you know, at a point in life where they were that weak, that they were actually contemplating such a thing. I mean, hell. It was very hard for me to actually talk about it until I would say two years after the fact. Okay. And I finally realized that, you know, hey, this is a serious subject. Uh, I am having a positive impact and I wasn't even planning on doing it. And this is just a, uh, I would say, a positive side effect to my primary mission, which, you know, is very uh, pleasant shall we say so do you guys have anything to add yeah i was just gonna say it's always a good good feeling whenever you can say whenever someone can says you know what you made an impact on my life and you made it for the better yeah yeah That's, i would agree with that man and and this is another thing i gotta ask you guys out there in uh podcast land guys who watch this show on the regular i just did a video and it came out yesterday on battling hopelessness and I would really appreciate that if everyone watching the stream shared it with five other people or groups on Facebook, Twitter, what have you, and get the word out there because I am sick and tired of hearing about men killing themselves because most of the time it is completely unnecessary. All right, now there are times where I understand. Like, say you live long enough that you've just had enough. Your body's given out, or you got a bad uh, diagnosis from a doctor that's going to have a terrible ending. Uh, you know, ride it out as long as you can. And, you know, hey, I understand. It is what it is. But if you don't have any of that shit going on in your life, you know, in the video about hopelessness, Towards the end, I talk about opportunity. The longer you live, the more opportunities will present themselves to you. And if you punch out early, you don't get those opportunities. Listen, you don't need that. It's not good for you. It's not good for anybody. It's not good for the planet or the earth or us as a human race if we have so many people who are so disillusioned. That they're just like, ah, fuck it. There's a fork in my back. I'm done. 
yep. not a not a good thing. Yep. Just they don't need to they don't need to do the fuck it mantra. They need to do the fuck it. That's right. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times. I mean, literally, I'm on the I'm on the ramp and green ramp at Fort Bragg, and we have literally taken off and put on our parachutes three fucking times. And the last time we were getting on the C-130, I am looking at funnel clouds that haven't come down yet, but you can see like the bowl and it's spinning, lightning is coming down, and people are freaking out. And all I could do is like fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> and literally we jumped the lightning that day. That's what we call oh, that jump. Because literally we were in front of a thunderstorm. Oh. And some of the guys on the last stick actually got, you know, kind of fucked up a little bit because they got drug around on the drop zone. <laughs> Shit. I am sure there was some harsh talking to's given to some of the jump masters and pathfinders who gave the go for the jump. Uh, granted, I, I was pay hurt at the time. I needed the jump, but I didn't need it that bad. <laughs> I just got lucky on that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, man. Well, as the uh, title in the uh, thumbnail it is so much predicted, uh, we live in. Uh, yeah, well, and we're going to jump around a lot on subjects. We're just covering a lot of stuff that's going on in the news today. Yeah, and a lot of a. It is absolutely gosh. insane. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think we'll just go ahead and uh, jump right on in it. But. Uh, Yep, not that one. That's not the one I wanted. Wrong button. You son of a bitch. You there. And fuck your life. They're <laughs> moving around on me, man. <laughs> That's the one I'm looking for. Found it. There right. we go. Oh, yes. Stunned, stunned nurse. I caught witches holding a carcass eating ritual on my security camera. That's how you get anthrax and cholera. <laughs> And you know, a bunch of ass worms and intestinal flukes. Why yeah. not? And if yeah. you do, and if you uh, do other things with it, uh, that's how you get a dick worm. All right, now <laughs> let's be honest here. We have heard, I mean, everyone's heard stories about these uh, devil worshiping or you know, groups of people or, or witch covens doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I mean, I've heard the stories about uh, some of these devil worshiping. Uh, cults or clans or whatever you want to call it actually you know having some of the younger girls give birth just to sacrifice the children at the next solstice or whatever do i think that's all a lie no do i think it is happening yes and it seems to be picking up steam because our culture and society is excommunicated religion out of our lives along with destroying the family so it is only natural. Actually, I shouldn't say natural. It is a unfortunate byproduct of the destruction of our civilization that this is happening. And I refer to these little things happening as the wobble. And what I mean by that, if you've ever used a top, you pull the string, it goes around, it moves smooth, everything is fine. But as it slows down, it starts to wobble, and the wobble mm. gets worse and worse until it finally mm. collapses. We are in the wobble stage right now, and the fall down portion is not pretty, and it is going to be very, very ugly, in my opinion, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, well, I would say that sign right there is uh, quite the... Uh, good explanation if we ever forget that we are one nation under god then we will become a nation gone under that's correct and, and uh, i just saw i just saw in one of the comments that somebody's asking what's on the board i filmed this one today and it's it's how to uh basically assist your young person in your life to avoid dick thinking at an early age instead of waiting till 34 after the pressures of life and all the other shit hit them <laughs> Yeah, after really everything bad happens, yeah. yeah. I, I'm serious. Like It's 34 plus or minus three years. At some point after you get divorced, 
after you see how much your expenses go up when you invite a woman into your life, all of the craziness and drama, you're literally like, is this really worth 15 to 30 seconds of oh baby? I'm thinking <laughs> no. No. Gonna have, nice like bags. And I like to speed bag them once in a while, but we need to talk about the deductible because you suffer from HCC itis, habitual car crashing itis, and I'm tired of paying for it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, crazy, but uh, touch back in on this uh, article here. This was up in Canada, so uh, all you Canadians, uh, watch yeah, out for. Watch out for the uh, naked wi- naked witches eating a carcass at night. Uh, social media posts depicting the alleged deer-crunching coven are currently blowing up online with viewers speculating the nightmare noshers were conducting some sort of satanic ritual. Uh, of course, more than likely, probably. And that's uh, meth and dicks, man. Yeah, meth, meth and dicks. Meth and dicks. Meth and dicks. So mm. meth, not be, even once. They could be Wiccans. You know, they, they hide behind that, like, ah, oh, we don't do black magic. We're natural witches. We're Wiccans. You, you notice how uh, the one is dressed? Just uh just pointing that out. There's not much going on there. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you're getting the full view right there. Interesting. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's See, weird. Yeah. Uh, I'm, listen, uh, and right. that is uh well, first of all. Uh, I have walked past many of a dead deer on the side of the road, and those things get nasty quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Within 10 minutes, there's flies swarming all over them. Uh, Within six hours, you start seeing the first maggots. 24 Mm -hmm. hours, forget about it. It is a maggot farm, and it starts to stink to high heaven, and it is bad, real bad. It's not as bad as uh, smelling rotting human flesh, but it's it's pretty close. In my it's up there, but uh, at least taking uh, take solace that uh, if the uh, the witches don't get you, uh, <laughs> the killer whales might. Uh, killer yeah. whales. <laughs> no, I love this sink. particular story. Uh, shut up. This is uh, not the first. This is not the first time that they have done this. This is just the first time they have done it when it's caught on camera. My, my thing is this, is they actually ruptured the hull of a 66-foot boat. Yep. Good God. Yeah, that's... I mean, I, I could understand, you know, some dudes in the canoe in the ocean and the killer whales, you know, overturn right. them for a, a little snacky treat. Got it. <laughs> yeah. But they're going after full boats. And I'm going to be honest yeah. here. We fucking deserve it. <laughs> we hairless monkeys have been hunting all kinds of shit all over the planet for unnecessary reasons, in my opinion. Yep. Yeah. Well, that that we're also putting wind farms out to sea that may or may not be screwing with the uh, marine oh, life forms that uh, cause them to purposely beach themselves. Yeah. So that's going well, on, too. A lot of mm-hmm. that is happening because of... Um, underwater communications and sonar beacons and what have you. Um, now, this is just a article I read years ago in regards to the whale beaching thing. Is whales have very sensitive organs in their brain pan, which allows them to basically follow magnetic fields and what have you. And it doesn't take much to get that all jacked up. And all of the craziness that we do, we put in the ocean to communicate with our nuclear subs and what have you, is, uh, you know, causing issues. Now, does the Earth do that as well? Yes. Uh, They've found uh, whale beaching uh, phenomena happening in and around areas where there are underwater earthquakes. But I think it, it runs along. There's a, there's a similar mechanism going on there that's doing this to a lot of these whales. Mm. Yep, I would say so. How do I know these yeah. things? That's yeah. weird. Weird, man. But uh, I'm actually kind of curious. Let's see what, a little bit yeah, of this let's video see here. Let's see this. All right, yeah, yeah, okay. What could go wrong? Yeah. 
All right. Now, mm. if you have killer whales around your boat, <laughs> start the engine and, and go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Just leave. We need assistance immediately. We need assistance immediately. We are sinking. Mm. We are sinking. Oh, that's not good. This you is bad. Are. This is bad, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow. No, this is bad. <laughs> God damn. I don't, listen. Yeah, but... Whales are a bitch. Yeah, they weren't messing around, that's for sure. Now, I have Over a story a... about killer whales. Over a dozen similar attacks that occurred in this area since May. All right, stop the video real quick. All right, back in the day when I was in the 9th Infantry Division in Fort Lewis, one of my hobbies I did on weekends off is I like to scuba dive. And I had a friend of mine named Mark. Uh, he was in the same unit, and we would get in his vehicle and go scuba diving. Most of the time, we would spearfish, or we would go uh, gather red rock or dungeness crabs, or, you know, get prawns and what have you. Mm -hmm. He and I were out. Uh, well, let's see. I would say 60 feet of water, about a half a mile out from shore. And I'm facing in towards the beach. And my buddy Mark is basically about five or six feet away from me looking to open water. And I notice that he starts doing a lot of this and bubbles are coming up and he's like royally freaking out. And I turn around and about five to six feet away is this one big eyeball. And it was a killer whale deciding if we would be a good snacky treat or not. Yikes. So my heart <laughs> like literally jumps into my throat and I literally almost shit myself. Uh, had, had better anus control back then. If that happened now, I definitely would have <laughs> shit too. I open up my uh, my inflatable vest because the inside is bright yellow, fluorescent yellow. I open it up, and as soon as the whale saw that I was not a seal, it decided to leave. And those things are so powerful. Literally, it just took one swipe of its tail and literally almost knocked the wind out of me underwater. That's how much power those things have. My buddy Mark and I surfaced, and we're like, I think we're done. Are we done? Yeah, I think we're done. <laughs> and we went, to, we went to shore, and that was it. But, uh, mm. you know, that that really traumatized me. I, I don't even go to SeaWorld to watch those fucking things. Fuck that. Oh, hell no, no, thank you. <laughs> I don't, I don't well, know. I don't really even nope. like going in water that's above my head. I got even you. if it's just the lake. Yeah, I know. If I'm, going, if I'm just going in to like take a dive and cool off on a hot summer day. Yeah, I'll do that. But right. you won't see, you won't see me out on a boat, you know, 20, 30 miles offshore anytime yeah. soon. I don't really care for that either. And that's one of the main reasons no, I did not become a Marine. Because when you first go into the Marine Corps as an 0311 infantry dude, you're going to spend your first uh, year or two years on a float, which means you're on a ship in the middle of the ocean going from point a to point b wherever that is now i can swim quite well but i have a severe problem if i cannot see the shore if i can see the shore i know i can swim to it and i will be extremely upset when i get there but i'll be alive mm -hmm. if i can't see the shore i have a really bad problem with that <sighs> Making my skin crawl just thinking about that. Mm. Yeah, no thanks. I like I like seeing the tree line. Yeah, yeah. And quite frankly, uh, I'm shocked it hasn't ha happened a lot sooner. Because there are other intelligent animals on this planet, and we are some selfish assholes, and we deserve an ass kicking. It just is what it is. Every now and then, a good ass kicking is deserved. 
And it puts you mm-hmm. right with the universe. I, I write about that in my book, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God. I just, I can't imagine being on one of them boats and just having like two or no. three killer whales just sitting there circling you. You're like slamming into your boat. Yeah, I'm, I'm good on that. Well, man. shit. <laughs> yeah. That's... That boat looked like it, it was a gas powered boat. As soon yeah. as that happened, I'd literally be like, fuck it. Turn on the engines and head towards the nearest landmass, and hopefully I could make it. Fuck I'm this shit out of mouth. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, they probably aren't gonna follow you for uh, too long of a time period. I could be yeah. wrong. It depends upon how pissed they are and how hungry they are, or or whatever's motivating them. I don't talk whales, so I don't know. But that's what I would do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The only time I talk well is after I've had four or five beers after the midnight <laughs> in the bar. That's it. That's the only time I talk well. And that was many years ago. <laughs> I, I've, I've oh. been there myself. I've been there myself. Yeah, and a few cornfields. <laughs> Allegedly. Uh, Allegedly. Yes. Wombalos, heffalos, whaleos, mm. oh, the whole deal. Yeah. I'd drink them up to a six, <laughs> give them the four dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but pop you did mention that uh the electrical magnetic fields and whatnot can fuck with whales and whatnot oh, no. um i'm starting to think it's starting to affect the uh the humans as well because uh mm-hmm. this woman oh yeah you know, this oh. little woman wants to find a traditional masculine man who isn't conservative I think better match right. did a video on this. I think I watched right. this a couple of days ago. Good luck. Uh, you didn't get to pre-roll this, did you? Is there any music on this? Uh, I did not. Well, play it just uh, for a few seconds. Yeah, I kind of want to know. Do you want to know one of the sad? Oh, no, I think we're just a, I think this is just a commentary. So I think we're good. Cool. Yeah, realizations I recently had was that as a liberal woman, it is really hard to find a man who is willing to play the more traditional masculine role in the relationship in today's day and age. Who is not a conservative? A man who wants to pay on the first date, who wants to open your door, who has that want and desire to take care of you and to provide. Who is not a conservative? And obviously, as a liberal woman, I do want to be respected for my independence. And I do want to have my own autonomy in the relationship and not be confined or conformed nope. to the traditional nope. female nope. homemaker, childbearing role. And most of the men that I've dated Next. who do have that more natural provider masculinity about them are normally conservative. Jimmy, can you pause so that for really- a second? Okay. All, All right. right. So here, here's, the, here's the problem here. Uh, you have a woman that first she wants a liberal man, and most of those are wearing skirts these days. So that's the number one problem we have. Two, uh, or, she doesn't. Or, want, hang on, or, hang on. Or, or those men are camouflaged, and all they want to do is pretend mm. they are on the side of the feminist, so hopefully they can break off a piece of poo. In yeah, mind. you're absolutely right. No, you're absolutely right. That's uh, that's mm-hmm. that whole the, the the male feminist, but they are the beta orbiters more often than not. But the other problem is, she says she doesn't want to be traditional, so she wants a traditional man, but she wants to behave like a three hundred four. So, ah, uh, shocking, yeah. shocking. That's <laughs> like uh, the strong, successful, uh, silent man who's in touch with his feelings. So you want a strong <laughs> ogre who cries at a at the drop of a hat. That is not going to work. And this oxymoron nope. has been going on with women since the 80s. This like mm-hmm. crazy thing these men these women say they want. They want to have these qualities and then they have they want the other qualities that negate the other ones. Yeah. You get, either you get one or you get the other. The men in between are either crazy or pretending it's just yep, that we're simple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Jimmy, uh, let, 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 I want to hear the rest of this video, man. Yeah. <laughs> let's, oh, let's finish this off, shall we? Oh, she, I like her uh, question. Am I asking too much? Just to somewhere to yes. be equal yet have a man provide and take care of me to some extent. <laughs> Wham. Yep. I really know what to do because I don't want to compromise my morals and values just to find a man. But 
Am I asking to have my cake and eat it too? Yes. yes. Um, so what? Here, here's the first interview question uh, on that date. Uh, how many bodies have you stacked? Mm. I bet you she's disqualified right out the right out the gate there. I, I need I need the I need the soundboard. Total Cox. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I need to read some of the old hate mail from back in the day when I had women getting upset about my dick stacking test. Oh, that'd be great. Well, here's the thing. Now, I don't recall the actual studies off the top of my head, the names, but I'm sure they're still on the Internet. But after a woman has sampled five sausages from five different dudes, the chances of her staying in a long committed marriage roughly decrease by three to four times. Yeah. Shocker. So these women are, especially today, are, are graduating high school and you watch them walk across the stage doing this with the thousand cock stare, mm-hmm. thinking. That somewhere down the road, they're going to find that dude that's going to wipe them up and protect and provide for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Even if they do find that guy, they're going to divorce them. And usually between four and seven years, if they're college educated, the, ch- the percentage goes up to 90%. So, men, there is no upside to messing with these 304s. Don't make the mistake of shaking the horror tree like I did and expecting a wife to fall out because you're going to get Murphy'd in the ass if you do that. Yep. Uh, he, he he said the name. Let's not say it two hold, more times. Hold on. <laughs> Before you say that again. Um, so you saw the girl from the last little video there, and I just want to point out that she wants the traditional husband, but um, the, the only issue is she brings this to the table. There you go. Gold, baby. (laughs) Comedy gold. Good point. Good point on that. I like it. Uh, He's I don't I don't see what the what is the what is wrong with these women these days. But oh no, you can totally be totally be strong and independent and you know work your 32 to 40 hours a week and you know still go home and still get tyrone ray 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 pookie and chad through the revolving door and oh no you don't need that to be happy you need that to be happy you go out and do all this and that and well listen it's a sad world before a, a woman gets married she has to go to the gynecologist to get some courtesy stitches <laughs> Because that thing is a blown out, walled out, stalled out beef and cheddar in a catcher's mitt, and it can, it is so loose you can't, it won't even catch a baseball anymore. It just splashes in there. It's terrible. It's a bowl of warm soup. I have a sudden craving for some Arby's right now. Hmm. Funny. hmm. Oh, but uh, a warm uh... bowl of clam chowder. Yeah. Delicious. Extra- Extra chunky. Ah! Mm. That's, uh, terrible. That's, that's terrible. Oh, uh, well, let's r- roll down this one here a little bit. And uh, doesn't this sum up liberal women perfectly? Yes, it does. I want all the things that only come with two different judicial values, but I also don't want to be tied down to those values. I like this guy's, uh, <laughs> he's like, oh, I want fried rice, no egg and soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> she wants she wants a masculine guy who cares for about chivalry, sacrifice, leadership, and love. A guy who will protect her and take their initiative and care for her. But she also wants to be able to f- be free and hashtag smash the patriarchy. Mm. Uh, same as the notion of women being spiritual but not religious. They want yep. the good side of it. None of the restrictions. Here's another oh, that one. Here's another thing. Hang on, hang on. That these liberal women feminists always play is they talk about chivalry. All right. Now, listen, I used to do heavy armor in combat, meaning I used to carry a sword, wear armor and a shield, and go out and kick the shit out of people for fun. 
and I basically am up to speed on what actual chivalry was. It was a code for a warrior. Okay, now the part about, you know, protecting women and children, that's like one line in the entire code. And these women have hijacked it and warped it to think and they expect men to all do that. It, most men walking around out there are weak sheeple. They are not warriors. Therefore, the code of chivalry does not apply to them. It's just that simple. I think that calls for one of these. God, this beer is good. Yeah, I bet, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this, the Dos Equis is all right, but it's just not—it's just not doing it for me tonight. I'm telling you, this stuff is like thirteen percent alcohol. It's yeah, pretty good. Out. And Dos Equis is what four percent? Yeah, it's it's a it's got like a hint of alcohol. Yeah. It, uh, speaking of beer, I am tickled pink that Anheuser Busch is getting their anus blown out. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> yep. When they get done with this, they're gonna be walking around with one hell of a heinous anus. <laughs> yep. Listen. Ah! And on, on that note, um, I have to say the same. Uh so that's my guilty pleasure. I like Target. But after seeing that shit, um what is it, 10, 10 billion lost or some ridiculous 17. number like that? Seven, 17. 17. 17, 17 uh, yeah, 17, 19 billion, something like that. Yeah, it's Look, the last thing I saw like a couple days ago. It could be more now. Who knows? It's 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 like one of the last stores that I like shopping at. And after they pulled the the tuck bathing suit, sink sink all the way to the bottom. I don't care. Yeah, listen. Yep. I never liked Target as it stands. Mm. The only reason I darkened Target's doorway is because I had two two daughters that loved to go there. And as a father, you're like, okay, let's do this. And I hated it. I don't like anything they have. Uh, and I think without my daughters, I've been in Target maybe two times in the past 10 years because it was the only option. And you have to do what you have to do. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. See, that was kind of the same way. I think I've only been to Target like twice in the past, like the entire time I've lived in this apartment because I needed to go get shit. And I sure as hell wasn't going up to Walmart because fuck Walmart. Yeah, I guess. But it's just for it's just for small shit and whatnot. So I was like, yeah, fuck it, I'll just go to Target. Well, I would love to see Walmart and Target just get crushed into non-existence, so we can have the mom and pop shops come back and open up, you know, the main street in the, in the small towns all over the country. I think yeah. that would be incredibly healthy, in my yep. opinion, of course. Walmart, Walmart, and, and uh, Target can go the way of Kmart. Yeah, Kmart. Like uh, I knew, actually, I shouldn't say I knew. I've I served Joseph Antoni. Antonini was his name. He was the CEO of of Kmart years ago. Hmm. And for whatever reason, he just could not make the logic jump between the the catalog that made famous as big as it was and the internet. Because quite literally, all they had to do was basically do the same thing Amazon is doing. Mm -hmm. Instead of having catalogs, you move everything on the internet where you can order from there. We wouldn't have an Amazon today. We'd still have Sears. But that yep. little, that motherfucker could not, he just in his little weasel brain, could not make the deduction needed. Yep. Now imagine, if you will, if Sears was still around and it was still like, oh, 1930s ish just a little bit after the depression and whatnot imagine going online going to the sears ordering yourself a house a full auto thompson machine gun and a mm. boat america that's the way it should be <laughs> that's what that's the way it needs to be well that's, that's how it, it should be, be in all in actuality america, yeah. mm. america. Mm hmm yeah, but uh, no, we uh, can't have those nice things anymore because of uh, well, they they broke the people. family. They they broke the family. You have a bunch of 
of youths out there who literally are out there flapping. They have no guidance. They have no purpose. And uh, quite, they're just they're directionless. Yep. And we're seeing and the results of what's ha- what the, that brings nowadays. We are in full wobble. Yep. And the male role models that they do seek out are the ones that will make them end up in either a short gray or a, have a short life or a long life behind bars. So they, mm. yeah, that they, they literally get a ticket to a front row center seat in pre Zion. Yep. You don't want to go to pre Zion. Oh. It's not a good place. Nope. <laughs> I hope I never have to go there, but if I do, mm. I hope I earn it. Let it be for a good cause. Like a, a a certain, well, we'll keep names out of it, but a globalists or yep, yep, I hear you. I Allegedly, hear you. Any, kind of, <laughs> any kind of a uh, a hole traders in this country? Because I remember back, I remember back at the time where we used, we used to give traders a short stop and or short drop and sudden stop. You're talking about extreme chiropractic of the neck, yeah, get, mm. making sure they're well fitted with the hemp necktie. Ah. First time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now yeah. I myself am too old to partake in that shit, but I'll be happy yeah. to watch while drinking beer. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I can just imagine Pop sitting out on his porch. You go get that son of a bitch. Go get him. <laughs> I'd be like, eh. what are you going to do? Yeah, what are you do? <laughs> <laughs> with, oh, his shot, with his shotgun next to him. Don't. Come on, my lawn! <laughs> don't don't you do it? I want ha- I won't. I don't want to have to ventilate you. Yep. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's see how many folks we got watching us here tonight. Looks like we got five hundred and two, five hundred and six over on YouTube. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Let's see. MGTOW TV. If it will load for me. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope, that's not the right one. I'm going to pull that up separately. Uh, let's see. Over here on Odyssey, we got 50 watching. Rumble, is it outdoing YouTube? Uh-huh. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? What the fuck? Where's that? Nope. I'm going to have to do a reload on that one. All right. 145 on Rumble is what it's saying. That's it? That can't be right. That uh, can't be right. Something yeah. ain't right on my end. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the count. Let's, uh, let's, let's just get on with it. Uh, yep. Yeah. Rumble is 725 watching right now. There we go. That's more. 725. 725. Got 19 over on D Live, and Twitch is rocking 28. Yeah. Now I'm going to be honest. Uh, I've seen some craziness with Twitch, so I don't. If we can find another live stream platform, we might move over to that and dump Twitch. Yeah, yeah Twitch really isn't all that great. To be I mean, with for you. Unless, stuff, I guess they're okay. Or, you know, if you got a nice set of tits and don't mind wearing a bikini in a hot tub. Then, oh, yeah, Twitch is, you great. Twitch is great. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do? That's that's insane. Uh, that that doesn't yeah. happen. Women don't like <laughs> flaunt their tits and ass to get eyeballs to watch them and give them money. That, no. that never happens. No, no, they don't position no. the camera just a certain way to show you their yoga routine. It's not getting attention or anything. It's yeah. just to show you how to pose properly in yeah, yoga that, pants. It, it, because it, they want to do that because it makes them feel good. Yeah, shut yeah. up, please. <laughs> oh. I mean, it makes right. makes their ego feel good for a little while, and then. Two months down the road, something new and hotter comes along, and they get forgotten. We well, there's yeah. a word for that behavior, and I believe it's harlet. Who? Hure. Rhymes with yeah. skewer. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> That'll work. There you go. Sometimes they smell the same too. Yeah. Well, that's why uh, nice. they invented the nose ring and belly butt ring, so you can uh, hang up the <laughs> air freshener. 
Good shit. Uh, oh, God. Uh, it's terrible, man. It's terrible. It's true. It, it is. Uh, let's see. We got a handful of uh, Super Chats over here on YouTube here. Uh, Kenjin1090 with $20. I'm going to have to go get a beer. He says, here's for, to the glorious men who fought and died at Normandy. I better go yep. get a beer. Better go get a beer to cheers for that one. Yeah. Well, we just covered that on uh, the movie thing. We did Private Ryan. Uh, that's a damn good movie. But next time, we got to do uh, The Longest Day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, that was, that was good times. Um, I actually wanted to get with Blake. I totally spaced that out until I just mention that but uh i'd like to do something similar with that and do uh band of brothers let me know i'll be on your show brother do an episode of band of brothers because i think they're okay. what hour and a half two hour episodes i'm, I'm not sure but i love like that. that whole series but, because it's based yeah. on the true story yep yeah see it's it's real close when it comes to world war ii uh my favorite world war ii videos movies shows whatever Saving Private Ryan and Band of Brothers, they it's close, but I think Band of Brothers edges it out just a little bit just because it's all based off of all true stories. Yeah, and yeah. it's actually a lot longer. Yeah, I, I love that. Yep. Uh, one that so, I like also is The Pacific. Mm -hmm. it, it's about Marines fighting in uh, the island hopping shit that they did. Mm -hmm. I, think I, I think I've seen that one. That's been a while. Though. The only thing that I didn't really approve of The Pacific is simply this did the marines participate in the island hopping campaign yes they did but what is always it fails to be mentioned more u.s army units stormed more beaches in the pacific and the, in the europe theaters than the marines could ever dream of period Yep. Let's see. Uh, Sean St. George with 999. He's got an email video trailer. I think you'll laugh at it. I'll save that one for alt tech. We okay. can go there. Uh, fan I am with a couple donations. He's got memes and more memes. Okay. We'll have to bring got a few those of those up. pulled up on my side there. Do uh, you want to save those for new tech as well? Yeah. Yeah. We'll, yeah. We'll save yeah. those ones. He's He usually sends over some. Uh, Pretty spicy stuff, but yeah, really and just good, to be really safe. good stuff. Yep. Uh Jackson Whitaker Whitter Whittier. Sorry about that. Uh five dollars says June is still military appreciation month if you're in the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> in the Navy. That's good. That's good. <laughs> uh Fan I am. He's got four more clips for us. Uh, Master Miggy with twenty dollars says, "If it gets bad, just think of Greta Thunberg in Cat Box in, in Cat and Box Wine Land thirty years from now. This advice yeah. should help save lives." Yeah. Uh, Cliff thirty one eighty eight four ninety nine says, uh, ni "Nineteen years ago, a reasonable man was driven to do unreasonable things because he was royally screwed over." Remember Marvin Hemayer. That would Remember be the guy who drove the homemade tank around town. Yep. The anniversary of that was uh, 19 years ago yesterday. Yesterday, yep. So here's a, here's a toast to Killdozer and Mr. Martin Hemayer. He he right. I'm going to be honest. If I got driven to that and I built the actual Killdozer, I would have put machine guns on it and a flamethrower. That's just <laughs> me, though. That's just me. Please. What do I know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, uh, got humbly rise with four ninety nine says, "Pop, you asked, how do I know these things? That's because bad pop stored it in the file for you. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably right. Yep. There's been uh, many, many a night. Uh, bad pop was up doing stuff, and good pop was asleep. Yep. <laughs> as long as long as evil pop doesn't go across the street and get more ice cream and pop tarts. <laughs> right. No. No. But in uh, the Jericho files, there are is at least five chapters that were written completely by Evil Pop, and they actually turned out to be pretty goddamn good. Hell yeah, Evil Pop's a good dude. He just needs to quit fucking with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Dung is fun. Five dollars says Pop. I heard you were talking about catching crabs. 
You should talk to my ex. She can give them to you for free. <laughs> the scotchies. <laughs> <can go. laughs> you little buddies. Let me tell you nice. about the crabs thing. Three different times. Saturday morning while I was in the Ranger Battalion. The medic walks onto the floor and it's like, all right, everybody up. Apparently, such and such has got ass and dick lice. No one leaves until only, uh, I check you all, and we have to do all of our laundry. <laughs> You're like, oh, man. It's like the entire Saturday gone. You're doing, you're, you got to spray everything. You got to use special soap, wash all your shit. They look at your junk, and still, even if they don't find anything, you still got to wash it with special shampoo that kills that stuff. <laughs> it literally takes all day. I'm like, God damn it. That's what a waste of a Saturday. Uh, yeah. uh, it's terrible, man. Terrible. Hey, look, you know, you start sticking your willy in the wrong hole and are messing around with uh, the Wookiee cookie. Things happen. <laughs> Wookie cookie. <laughs> Things happen. Right. Uh, Pulse Kebab with $5. This one's for you and me, Rhino. It says, uh, like you got room to talk, Cougar Slayer. We all saw the hot mic vid. Leave Jimmy alone. <laughs> <laughs> the Cougar Slaying Academy is only sixty nine ninety five. You can sign up now at redpillrhino.com. Uh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to get through a couple here on Odyssey here really quick. Uh, right. Let's see. We've got Jack of the Emperor here. Couldn't use the handbrake. This is for $50, by the way. So oh, thank yep. you so thank much. Thank you so much, brother. Yep, here it is. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. <laughs> all right couldn't use yep. handbrake because it requires more shit to utilize it so i have to send my d-day video uh, to rhino's email it's five minutes long i'm sorry but i needed to get uh my thoughts out no bullshitting in this one this is for the boys that gave it all for liberty so yeah i will go to my email and see, see if we can get we'll, that we'll pull out. it up on all tech we'll have to there we go so jack yeah. was, jackal you're telling me that you're very expensive, very high quality gaming PC can't run handbrake, but my little laptop can. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> We've got uh, schmuck here for $25. This is aimed directly. Shots fired at Jimmy. Better that Jimmy goes light. That means he won't miss another show, fucker. <laughs> Two shows in a row, by the way, you missed Jimmy. All right, moving on. Uh, Western Collapse Report for one dollar. The best way, the best we can hope for now is the West uh, is balkanization. It's that or total anarchy. Fuck your liberal notions. It's race and religion borders or anarchy. Mm. That's absolutely correct. Yeah. Western Collapse Report also for another dollar here. Yeah, I don't care uh, what they sentence me in. I'm shooting and killing everyone I find doing satanic rituals and eating a body if I'm working in a late shift. I don't blame you. All right. Well, I can't condone that, but I certainly understand. Yeah, Just keep a <laughs> keep, keep a shovel and a, a pallet of lime around. If yeah, well, allegedly. Well, I got a friend of mine that has a tractor with a backhoe on it, and we were talking <laughs> a couple weeks back, and I'm like, "So, yeah, just dig any random holes for anything?" He goes, yeah, "There's some holes dug up there, just in case." I'm like, "Just in case. in case, I better not there piss you, you off." I don't want to wind up in an unmarked grave somewhere. Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. All no, right. I'm, got... I'm making a uh, swimming pool. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. We've got agent of social media chaos here for a dollar. Uh, Terrence Pop, did you guys hear about them shoving feminist propaganda about mansplaining into these subtitled versions of anime now? It's not just the dubs that are being altered and uh, wokeified. Now it's the subs too. Undead Chronic talked about it with RGE directs Hammerhan and Sandman. That was the round table they had on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. I got invited to the round table. I couldn't make it. So I'm sorry. Gotcha. No worries. And then uh, Western Collapse Report for a dollar here. RIP Uncle Marv. All yeah. right. All right, cool. Thank you. So his uncle Marv passed on. Is that uh, what that means? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's look. Uh, right. For uh, that was for uh, the um, Marvin He Mayer. Hey, he Mayer. Here's two, oh, here's two okay. Dollars, gotcha. man. Yep. All right, and then there's a couple images, Jimmy. I'll let you get to the uh, the YouTube thing here. Um, the images will yeah, say for did. new tech, though. 
Yep, we just got a couple other X over here from on the YouTube side of things. Uh, Dark Pig says eighty-seven, five dollars. Says the first thing a leftist attitude kills is traditional masculinity. But they try. Yeah, you can be conservative light, but you must be conservative. <clears throat> yeah. Now, before all of this insanity started about five years ago, I was basically somewhat center, center right. I wasn't like this right wing, you know, neo Nazi crazy guy. I mean, I was like, okay, and I was I was a reasonable person, you know, lived by logic and reason. And the left literally has gone so far left that I am now considered far right. <laughs> that's insane. That's well, called uh, that's called the overturn overturn window. The you have your left. You're far left, you're left, you're center, you're center right or whatever. And it's it's turning ever so slightly to the left. So the the far left have got have fallen off the cliff. They've become the batshit crazy ones. Yes, they do. Yeah. A vast majority of them. So yeah. the left is the center lefts are now the classical liberals, whatnot, you know, the people that you can actually talk with, have a conversation and some disagreements, but still be civil about it but it's turned so far towards the left that centrists like us are the far right way extremists and we're That's we're correct. that we're, we're labeled that way just because we're straight white men and they do that because they want to silence you because most people don't want to have a negative label assigned to them because they're sheeple mm-hmm I, hey, I I'm just, don't care. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm just some drunk idiot that likes to talk shit and make memes on the internet. So, yeah, I'm I the same know. as you. I speak the truth. I don't give yeah. a fuck. My give a fuck generator broke after I got wounded in Iraq. So, it is what it is. Yeah. And heaven forbid you want uh, the the fringe wackos of the left to stay away from children. You're the extremist for saying such a crazy thought. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, so. So crazy. Right, here, uh, here, hang on. Here's something I have to add in here. Mm. If you are watching what's going on here in the Western world and thinking that this is not some type of spiritual warfare, you are out of your goddamn mind. The rainbow flag, which has been usurped by the loose gay butt twerking queer community, um, well, the rainbow, if you look at the good book, was basically put in place by God to promise the survivors of the floods that that would never happen again. And they have literally perverted that symbol from God for their own purposes. On top of that, the first story we covered were witches eating fucking roadkill. Hmm. We have um, abortion taking place up up to and including 28 days after birth. In the old days, that was called a sacrifice. And there was nothing higher to be sacrificed to whatever deity you were praying to than a baby. It's just that simple. A, a yep. baby human child is the ultimate sacrifice which could be offered up to whatever higher power they thought existed back then. Now, I am not a religious nutcase, but I have seen true evil, looked it in the eye, and on some occasions traveled into his very own lair, and I'm still here. Now, to be honest, on occasion I was dragged the fuck out of there under so, you know, because I couldn't do it under my own power, but I'm still here. So I know what I'm talking about. There is evil afoot, and the only way we're going to shut it down is if people stop being the you know voiceless sheeple stand mm -hmm. up and be counted don't care if you're labeled speak the truth the yep. truth destroys evil every time and sooner or later the truth always comes out all right sorry about the rant no no damn. that was uh that was damn good man i'm drinking i'm drinking damn right, you guys fucking drinking i mean what do you want from me all right all right, all right. <laughs> So, sorry, Pop, but uh, we can't throw but, straws from here. Uh, yeah, we we can't throw straws, but we can, you know, we can try to 
will them into being but uh maybe, <laughs> That's right. maybe the uh, maybe the ghost over there he'll throw you a straw <laughs> listen <laughs> i'm at a, i'm having a feud with that bastard <laughs> all right i got a 400 pound uh you know toolbox up against the back door that shit ain't opening unless that dude's really strong <laughs> just saying uh but uh to uh counteract your uh very well uh spoken spiel there pop we have an urban dictionary oh god i oh, hate when you guys do this all right make out <laughs> make towel forever two dollars urban dictionary rabid dog okay that doesn't sound good no. A strange schmexual act where a guy releases in a girl's mouth and then she bites his penis. <laughs> this act makes her resemble a rabid dog with his bazooka juice as rabies foam. Why? All right. Now, <laughs> hang on a minute. That is a repercussion of don't come in my mouth and you do it. Yeah. It's simply, <laughs> well, yeah. It's, it's simply what happens. If she if she says don't don't jizz in my mouth, don't butter my tonsils. And you do it. You give her the fit. Th the three taps on the head is the warning. If you give the girl the three taps and she doesn't stop, eh, sorry, that's on her. <laughs> Alternatively, Woo! you just avoid spitters, but that's a different topic. Yeah. But, that's, uh, that's a different show. That's a different show. <laughs> different show we might at a different have time. To, uh, do a show on. Uh, uh, strange smexual practices and the people who partake in <laughs> might have to Good uh, comedy see. gold brother comedy got gold a, got a handful more super chats coming here while we were doing our thing but uh, we'll get through these we will jump over to new tech uh, fan I am five dollars Australian he's got an idea here for you pop Twitch numbers would rise if Pop started wearing his tight, fat Punisher shirt. Uh, Please don't. <laughs> that was a horrible mistake that will never happen again. I have no idea why I did that. Yeah, I do. I'm fucking stupid, but it is what it is. Oh, come on, Pop. You've lost You've lost a few pounds. I'm sure I you look good. I have actually normal. gone to great lengths to lose a lot of weight. Uh, and I'm fl I fluctuate between 190 and 200. Yesterday I was 198, so I'm, I'm trying to go back down a little bit. Yeah, see, see, we can't call him the Fat Punisher anymore. We, he's the uh, rotund, rotund Roven, Roven. I try to walk four to five miles every day. Normally it turns out to like five times a week. I lift heavy once a week, and I hit the heavy bag probably two to three times a week because for self-defense purposes. And mm -hmm. I'm doing pretty good for my age, I think. Oh, yeah, you're looking good, Pop. No homo. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Pete with a uh, nine ninety nine says uh, Darren got crabs when and when uh, Darren got crabs and we are going to the Cambria Patrol in Wales. Ah, the, yeah, my buddy Pete actually participated in the Cambrian Patrol in England, oh, okay. which is a competition between all of the Europe nations. They send their lurse teams there to compete, and the company F four two five was a Michigan National Guard airborne infantry lurse unit and we sent a team up there and pete was a member and if i recall they did quite well um they had a really good showing and you know the stories he tells about england is fuck that place i mm. i do not want to walk around england especially uh in the fall to late fall because from the stories i heard about that place is a fucking nightmare now, I've been to England a few times, but most of the time I was on leave, and uh, I don't remember much because I drank a lot. I never made it to Scotland, but I made it over to the land of ditch pigs, which is Ireland. Uh, the beer was good, but it was warm. The food was terrible, just like England. The women were fat and, uh, you know, gravitationally challenged. <laughs> That's just the way it is. I'm sorry. It's the truth. It's what I saw That's, when I was there. That's usually how it goes over in the uh, the – the United Kingdom. You got a uh, ditch pigs that'll give you dick lice. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> or the regrowing cauliflower that comes off your penis. Mm. <sighs> it's a form of Lovely. a And teeth Lovely. like a cheese grater. <laughs> yeah. Listen, some of the teeth, I, the grills I saw on these women were literally a rear-ended 64 Cadillac. 
<laughs> I mean, <laughs> god damn, it was bad. Uh, oh, that's a uh, good analogy. Oh. Wow. So going back to going back to the chats here. <laughs> uh, I snows with two dollars. He's asking, say pop, how do we fight a spiritual war? That is a very good okay. question. Well, the main thing you gotta do for fighting the spiritual warfare is you gotta get yourself centered with the universe. I'm not going to tell you to run down to the Catholic Church or become a Buddhist. It's all on you. If you're a good person, you have good character, you do the right thing even when nobody's watching, you're willing to speak the truth even if it leads to your death, you are well-equipped to become a frontline fighter in the spiritual warfare that's taking place today. Yep. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Sean St. George with 499 <laughs> says... Give me a label all you want. Just get my pronoun right. It's Fuker. <laughs> P-H-U-K-E-R. Fuker. Nice. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Digital Do with uh, $2. He says, D-Day dedication images, images message sent to Pop and Blake. All righty. We will keep an eye out for that one. Uh, Pete with $1.99 says, Kirk is on drunk text. Wow. Yeah, I got to talk to Kirk. He's uh, having problems. Now, I'm going to be honest. Ranger Kirk basically is responsible for me still living. He landed in Panama, I think, 50, 60 meters away from where I landed. I had a basically a scuffle with the truck that ran me over. Uh, I didn't know this at the time. Uh but apparently there was another vehicle coming to reinforce the one that had, was trying to kill me. Truck uh, Kirk and his team engaged that vehicle and neutralized it. So quite literally, he saved my life. That, that dude's a good dude. He's just been warped and broken by war. And uh, I'm trying to fix him, but, you know, I probably won't be able to. You can only do so much, but you're always helping out, man. I try. I try. That's why we and love Jimmy, you, Pop. No homo. <laughs> and Jimmy, I got something to say about the next one you read there. All right, let's see here. Uh, we got uh, Jeff Space Lord, fifty dollars. Oh, where is it at? There it is. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. It says, uh, just a friendly reminder: Dukoof is still out here. I had a bad round of it in the past week for the second time in two years. So I took the, uh, the horse paste again and it wiped it out completely again. Uh -huh. If you get to the coof, take the paste. Mm -hmm. Yes. I've had the coof three times. The second time I caught it, I was literally effed up uh, for about eight months. I had the long-term crap yeah. and, the way I defeated it was with a lot of the uh, mushroom extracts, like reishi mushroom, cordyceps, chaga, and reishi helped out a lot, along with the multivitamin, vitamin C, and what have you. Yeah. But um, it took a long time for me to pull out of that nosedive. Oh, That's yeah. serious business, man. And uh, actually... Uh, Right after the last stream me and Jimmy did, uh, I, too, uh, managed to uh, find myself with the coof again, uh, the whole four-day fever and everything. Um, nice. Best solution for that is uh, I do a mix mixture of ibuprofen and aspirin, uh, take it every four hours or so to keep that thing down, uh, but it's a nightmare. I, got, I think I got up to uh, 103 with medication still in me. Yeah. Uh, so that sucked. Um, and then the sinus infection. So if you do get a chance to go get antibiotics, I didn't, uh, I just went and dealt with it myself, but, uh, the sinus infection for the next week. So about 14 days, if you get that shit, I didn't use horse paste this time. I did the first time I should have this time. Uh, but it was like 12 days out on Amazon. So I was like, oh, fuck it. I'll just deal with it. But, uh, yeah, it is going around again. So, uh, zinc, magnesium, vitamin D, uh, vitamin C just, take the plethora of it and start taking it now so that hopefully when you get it, it's not as bad, but yeah, it's still out there and it's uh, just as nasty as the first time I got it. So just be aware. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, if you find yourself with it, drink yourself to sleep because that your body will, will heal itself while you're asleep. I, mean. I, I don't know if I agree with that, but all right. 
That's one thing I'm good at doing. <laughs> I'm just so telling that's that. the same. You know. If you do, make sure it's hard liquor, and not beer, because the yeast will fuck around with you. Yeah. <laughs> get your get yourself some peach bird dog. Just just straight Everclear. That'll solve your problem. Yeah, there, <laughs> there you go. go. Yeah. All right, let's see. We got uh, one last super chat over here on YouTube, and we can go ahead and move over to new tech. Uh, dung is fun for two dollars. Muffin top pop for the win. No, <laughs> uh, good times. We got a cash app from uh Daniel Kulazaski Kulazak five dollars. He sent three clips in. Oh, and man. who's the other one? Uh, Mark Vomirs. Look up what is V A B B I N G vabbing. Vabbing. Oh no! It doesn't sound oh. good at all. Um, I I know I know what this is. We'll we'll play it on Thank new tech. We'll, we'll play it on. <laughs> all right. It is. Oh God! What it... Yeah. No. We. I think you guys did a, a show where you talked yeah. about this. But yeah. We'll go uh, over it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad. I, I, it, it, it's bad. It's really Not bad. a good deal. Not a good deal. But, uh, no. Mm. So uh, we will uh, adjourn to Alt Tech here. Let me get these links in the chat for you gentlemen here. Uh, Rhino, if you got want to go ahead and sign these guys off. You got it. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, throw up the, uh, the transition screen, and uh, we'll go from there. I'll let you get the links up for the next few minutes, though. So. All, All right. right. Uh, good. In the chat, let us know if you like uh, inebriated pop, because uh, this beer is really good. <laughs> There you go. All right, guys. Uh, we'll roll the outro here on YouTube for at least a couple minutes, and then I'll kill it and jump over to New Tech now. All, All right. right see you on the other All side. Right. Let's do it. it.